can you talk about your true freshman season and how it's going so far? Um, you know, it's not going as I wanted. Uh, you know, I'm playing and stuff like that. That's what I wanted. But at the end of the day, I want to, you know, make plays and stuff like that. It's, you know, I'm making tackles and all that, but not enough explosive plays, which is what our defense needs right now. So hoping that this second half of the season, I'm able to take that up a notch, make some more explosive plays and stuff like that. So. How do you feel like you've grown in just the six, seven weeks that you've, you know, been able to play and just, you know, grow as a player? Where would you say you are now compared to maybe when the season started? Yeah, I've grown a lot because, I mean, Coach Leggy had me watch all the cut up, cut ups from uh, all the past games we played, and from I was watching Ohio State game, and I didn't even recognize myself because I've just grown so much from that point, just technique wise, and just having all the games under my belt it's just helped a lot, and I, my growth from the beginning of the season has been. Amazing, I think. Talking about the defensive line as a whole, how can you guys, you know, try to maybe shore up some of those running gaps that, you know, running backs have had found success, maybe get some more pressure on the quarterback, and then secondly, how can having Jeremy potentially back this weekend be able to, and for the future weeks, be able to help you guys? Yeah, just getting people back just helps a lot with their depth and stuff like that. And then just the gaps and stuff, most of it is really just mental errors for us. It's, it's not that we're just not good enough it's that we're just mentally having busts and stuff like that on the field so we need to just tighten up some of the technique things and then have our less mental errors and we'll be able to shore up all those gaps on the running game was that an emphasis during the bye week was working on those techniques and all yeah, those little things it's been an emphasis i mean this whole year because i mean we, we struggled with mental errors and things like that so just and it's just the little things mental errors are little things just knowing your job knowing what to do knowing what gap i have how to get there things like that a win this weekend, what would that mean to you guys to just be able to take that step? A win would be huge this weekend because we're obviously in a drought right now and we're in our first Pac-12 game. It would be awesome. I mean, we've been close every game and now we just have to finish it out and it would mean a lot. Seeing a Cal team that does give up all these turnovers, does that excite you as a player to be able to maybe? Oh, yeah, we've been, you know, we've been harping on it this whole, we harp on it every game, takeaways, 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 but this, we need takeaways to win games, so that's, and Cal, I mean, they've turned over the ball a lot, so we're, we're looking to capitalize on that. As a defense, how frustrating, you know, is it when you guys know you're in the right positions to make those turnovers and they just don't happen? You know, whether it was, you know, Jalen dropping an interception in Arizona State, a couple, you know, potential interceptions from Washington State last week going through the hands of guys and being caught. How tough is it when it's, like, right there, it's so close? It's frustrating, but you, it's a process, you know. If you just continually go at the ball, continually punching at the ball, continually trying to make plays, make interceptions, sack fumbles, stuff like that. You just continually keep trying to do it. The process eventually is going to make you right, and you're going to be able to get some of those takeaways. Who's been your biggest mentor on that defensive line? Like out of the, all the players? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kalani, for sure. He's one of the oldest, most experienced. Kalani and Lamone, they Kalani specifically taking me under his wing, you know, showed me, showed me the ropes, stuff like that, and he's given me a couple tips, things like that, work out after practice, a couple things here and there that he could help me on, stuff like that. So. Have you leaned on your brother at all for wisdom on how to do the true freshman season? Uh, not really. You know, it's <laughs> kind of different different parts of the ball. You know, he's out there doing pretty boy ball out there. It's, <laughs> it's different in the trenches. So. How exciting is it to play on the same team even if you're on opposite sides? Yeah, it's definitely fun just, you know, just sitting on the sidelines and sometimes I cheer for him during practice. Some of the defense players get, bat get mad because I'm cheering for the offense. But it's like you see your brother make an explosive play, you can't help but to cheer for him. So talked about the turnovers you had a lot. Do you think if you guys can get a couple that it can be contagious and can carry you guys through not just this game but maybe on the, the last five games of the season? Yeah, for sure. Success I mean success in general is it's contagious. I mean it's gonna and we're we're so close to I mean you can see on film we're punching at the ball and the ball's wiggling, it's almost coming out and people are just oh we're just right there and if we get one of those we'll just start rolling on top of that and just keep getting more. So. And given they have struggled with turning the ball over do you think that this is the perfect time to play them and break through and, and get a couple of turnovers? Or? Yeah, I don't know if it's the perfect time. I mean, we're harping on it every week, so it's not like we're just like, okay, we got to do it this week. It's just every week we're takeaways, takeaways, takeaways. So. Talking about this game, you know, obviously after this game, the schedule gets extremely difficult. How much would a win against Cal kind of be able to fuel you guys into that really backloaded part of the schedule? I think it will give us some confidence that we really need, like, we were in it. We, we were winning at one point in the Washington State game, and I don't, I don't think many people outside of the team thought we could do that. So, 
winning this game will just give us as players some confidence that we really need to you know go into this back half of the season.